happy morning children are you happy yes isn't it okay in the previous class we have completed the exercise 5.1 isn't it i hope you are all completed the homework isn't it yes okay good today we are going to study the next topic that is inclination of a line that is inclination of a line what is inclination of a line let us understand very simple let us draw the x x dash y y dash let us draw a straight line l l the angle measured between this x axis and this straight line counter clockwise is known as inclination of a line what is inclination of a line the angle measured between the x axis and the straight line l counter clockwise is known as inclination of a line did you understand students it is denoted by theta it is denoted by theta let's write the definition along with me write children the inclination the inclination the inclination of a line of a line of a line or the angle of the angle of inclination inclination of a line is the angle the angle which a straight line straight line makes with the makes with the makes with the positive direction positive direction direction of x axis measured measured in the counter clockwise counter clockwise clockwise direction direction to the part of the line above the above the above the x axis and it is denoted by denoted by theta okay angle of inclination or inclination of line is denoted by theta it is denoted by theta there is two nodes are there so you should write sometime it can ask for one word okay so you should learn so first one is the inclination of the inclination the inclination of x axis and x axis and every line every line parallel to parallel to x axis is zero that means inclination of x axis also zero which is parallel to x axis also zero what is meant by this the inclination of x axis is zero as well as the line which are parallel to x axis also zero okay then the note second one the inclination of the inclination of of y axis 
voyages and every line every line parallel to parallel to voyages is 90 degree that means the inclination of ohs is 90 degree as well as the line which are the lines parallel to ohs also 90 degree okay the inclination of ohs is 90 degree and the which are the lines which is parallel to ohs also inclination is 90 degree understood students next we have the definition slope of a straight line okay slope of a straight line write along with me slope of a straight line slope of a straight line if theta is the if theta is the what is theta is a angle of inclination theta is the angle of inclination angle of inclination angle of inclination of a non vertical non vertical straight line straight line then tan theta is the tan theta is the slope or slope or gradient gradient of the line of the line and it is denoted and it is and it is denoted by m so that we have the formula slope of the straight line slope of the straight line straight line m is equal to tan theta what is the slope formula if there is angle of inclination slope m is equal to tan theta it is important formula okay slope of the straight line m is equal to tan theta slope of a straight line if theta is the angle of inclination of non vertical straight line then tan theta is the slope or it has another name gradient of the line and it is denoted by m and it is denoted by m so that the formula slope of the straight line m is equal to tan theta when there is angle of inclination slope m is equal to tan theta when there is angle of inclination so we move the next formula here theta is lies between theta is lies between 0 less than or is equal to theta less than or is equal to 180 means theta is lies between 0 degree and 180 degree and theta is theta should not be 90 degree should not be 90 degree theta is lies between 0 and 180 degree and but theta should not be 90 degree why no we have the formula slope m is equal to tan theta if theta is equal 90 degree we know tan 90 is not defined tan 90 is not defined so theta should not be 90 degree okay so we move to the next formula okay what is the next formula now if a of x1 comma y1 and b of x2 comma y2 or two distinct points distinct point then the then the slope of slope of ab is what is the formula now when there is two points given and if they asked to find the slope we have to use the formula y2 minus y1 by 
x2 minus x1. What is the formula? Two points A of x1, y1 and B of x2, y2 are two distinct points. Then the slope of AB is y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1. This formula is also important. Okay. Next we have the definition. Values of slopes. Okay. Values of values of slopes. First, when theta equal to zero, what is the value? No, the line is the line is the line is parallel to the parallel to the parallel to the positive direction of positive direction of direction of x axis. When theta equal to 0 degree, what is the value now? The line is parallel to the positive direction of x axis. For example, x, x, x dash, y, y dash. So, the condition is first theta equal to 0 degree. The line is parallel to the positive direction of x axis. Direction of x axis. Okay. Parallel to positive direction of x axis. Means theta equal to 0 degree. First condition. Second condition is. Second one is. Theta is lies between 0 degree above and below 90 degree. Above 0, below 90 degree. The line has. The line has positive slope. Line has positive slope. When the line has a positive slope, now the theta is lies between 0 and 90. Means above 0 degree, below 90 degree means the line has positive slope. Okay. The diagram will be x axis. Y axis here x dash take it y dash the line is positive slope is it let us draw the straight line here okay the direction is positive okay positive direction the line has positive slope okay third condition what is the third condition now theta is above 90 degree and below 180 degree so 90 degree less than theta less than 180 degree what is this theta is lies between 90 to 180 means above 90 degree below 180 degree so what is the condition of the slope the line has the line has negative slope the line has negative slope example draw here x axis and o axis it is x x dash y y dash draw a line above 0 sorry above 90 below 180 you have to draw Okay, consider this example. So, if you rotate likewise, means it will become 90 degree. We need above 90, so above 90 and below 180. So, the, the line has negative slope. The line has negative slope. Next condition theta equal to theta equal to 180 degree theta equal to 180 degree means that also will be straight line the line is parallel to the 180 means it will be negative only the line is the line is parallel to the parallel to the negative direction negative 
direction of x axis example draw the x axis x dash y y dash draw the straight line it is parallel to x axis theta equal to 180 degree now consider this rotate it this is 90 degree again our condition is 180 degree now it become negative direction okay theta equal to 180 degree so negative direction understood children one more condition is there theta equal to 90 degree theta equal to 90 degree that is 5 theta equal to 90 degree the slope is undefined the slope is undefined why no we know that if theta is equal 90 degree means we know tan 90 is undefined tan 90 is an example x x dash y y dash so draw the perpendicular line which is parallel to y axis theta is equal to this line is perpendicular to the x axis at here 90 degree so theta equal to 90 degree theta equal to 90 degree when theta equal to 90 degree tan 90 is not defined so the slope is undefined so the slope is undefined next two more formulas let's write when two lines are when two lines are parallel parallel slopes are equal parallel then their slopes are equal that is m1 is equal to m2 condition is m1 equal to m2 okay consider the example it is x x dash y y dash consider two non, uh, non vertical line let us name it l1 and take one more line parallel to l1 that is l2 slope of the l1 is theta won't take it theta or theta slope of l2 also will be theta okay angle of inclination is theta both line having angle of inclination is theta so slope also will be same slope also will be same so if you take a slope of the l1 slope of the line l1 is m1 in the same way slope of the line l2 also will be m1 so when two lines are l1 and l2 are parallel then their slope also will be equal that is m1 is equal to m2 uh, L, uh, the line l one slope if you take m1 and slope, uh, slope of l2 let us take m2 so slope of m1 is equal to slope of m2 okay both the angle angle of inclination will be equal as well as both the lines slope also will be equal when two lines are parallel m1 is equal to m2 both the slopes are equal condition is m1 equal to m2 next formula when two lines are perpendicular when two lines are perpendicular when two lines are perpendicular slopes are
of the slope will be no product will be minus 1 m1 into m2 is equal to minus 1 when two lines are perpendicular what is the condition no m1 into m2 is equal to minus 1 see the example m1 into m2 is equal to minus 1 take take x axis and y axis draw a straight uh, draw a line and one more line draw which is perpendicular to this line name it l1 and draw one more line which is perpendicular to which is perpendicular to the first line okay this line extend it is l2 okay both the lines are intersecting at here at 90 degree so let us take the slope of the first line is m1 slope of the second line l2 is m2 then their product m1 into m2 will be minus 1 when we multiply both lines slope means m1 value and m2 value if we multiply we get minus 1 okay when two lines are perpendicular their slope will be minus 1 product of their slope will be minus 1 means m1 into m2 we should get minus 1 that is the condition when two lines are parallel m1 is equal to m2 when two lines are perpendicular m1 into m2 is equal to minus 1 understood students when two lines are parallel the condition is m1 equal to m2 and when two lines are perpendicular the condition is m1 into m2 is equal to minus 1 ok you should study this is important formulas ok so we move to the examples ok so first of all example 5.7 ok Exam sorry example 5.8 it is in page number 214 example example 5.8 page number 214 write the question along with me first one what is the what is the slope of a slope of a line whose inclination whose inclination whose inclination is 30 degree okay first one second subdivision what is the inclination what is the inclination what is the inclination of a line whose slope is whose slope is root 3 okay two questions are there very simple first one is what is the slope when there is a angle, angle of inclination what is the slope so angle of inclination means that is theta theta value is given slope they asked we know when there is theta slope m is equal to tan theta that formula we have to use second subdivision what is the inclination when there is slope okay so theta we have to find out tan theta value is given very simple. Shall we do? Okay. Listen. Solution. First solution. Okay. Given that. Given. What is given in the first solution? Whose angle of inclination is 30 degree. So, given angle of inclination theta equal to 30 degree. Inclination. Theta is equal to. 30 degree okay so slope m is equal to we know when there is angle of inclination slope m is equal to tan theta slope m is equal to tan theta formula this one so this tan theta only we have to find out so that here theta equal 30 degree m is equal to tan theta so in place of theta we have to apply 30 degree okay what is the value of theta given 30 degree given okay what is the formula m is equal to tan theta so theta value we have 30 degree so in place of theta we have to apply 30 degree so which is equal to say which is equal to tan 30 degree what is tan 30 degree value do you know that economic table tan 30 degree value same 
what is term 30 1 by root 3 1 by root 3 over first sub is an answer over second sub is an let us do second sub is okay what is the second sub is an what is the inclination of a line whose slope is root 3 okay slope is given inclination means theta we have to find out so what is given here slope means slope m is equal to tan theta is given given that what is given slope m is equal to slope m is equal to m means tan theta tan theta is equal to root 3 we have to find out theta tan which value gives root 3 can you say can you remember in 9th standard we studied in a trigonometric table recall that tan which value is root 3 tan 60 is root 3 is it so we know that we know that we know that tan 60 degree is equal to tan 60 degree is equal to root 3 so in place of theta we have 60 degrees here this theta only we have to find out in place of theta we have 60 degree so what is the value of theta theta equal to 60 degree that is the answer did you understand theta is equal to 60 degree okay therefore theta equal to therefore theta equal to 60 degree understand students okay now one homework question shall I give write the homework homework not the homework homework exercise 5.2 5.2 first question first question there is two subdivisions first one is 90 degree second one is 0 degree how to do shall I explain what is the first question now what is the slope of a line whose inclination is given slope we have to find out so theta equal to theta equal to 90 degree first question how to do now listen carefully theta is equal to 90 degree so tan theta means tan 90 what is the tan 90 undefined that is the answer understood come to the second subdivision what is the theta value 0 degree given what we have to find out tan 0 what is the formula when there is angle of inclination slope m is equal to tan theta so in place of theta we have 0 so we have to find out tan 0 what is the tan 0 value 0 0 is the answer okay come to the second question second question what is the inclination of a line whose slope is first one 0 second one 1 Two question here also. What is the first question? Second question, first subdivision 0. Second subdivision 1. What is the question? What is the inclination of a line whose slope is? A slope is there, inclination we have to find out. Slope is given, inclination you have to find out. So, how to find out slope? What is slope formula? M is equal to tan theta. Tan theta equal to 0 given. Okay, what is the theta? Tan which value is 0? We know tan 0, 0. So, theta equal to 0. Like just now we completed, no example, same model we have to complete. Okay, so first two, first question, two subdivisions are there. Second question also, same way, two questions are there. So, complete it. Okay, so complete it. Today's portion, today itself we have to complete it. Today itself complete it. So, update persons if you are completing children that is easy for you so so that work hard day to day persons finish it uh, take well practice if you have any doubts you can ask okay children okay do it quickly so complete it study well work hard thank you students okay